What up, guys? Mr. Chwahoozy here. Man, I'm sure you can tell by the title. I got my Marvel sweatshirt on. I just got back from seeing Avengers Infinity War in theaters. First day came out. And best I can say is the lighting is really bad. Best I can say is no one is ready for this movie. You think you know everything, but you don't know everything. You think you know what's going to happen, but you don't know what's going to happen. I had my theories. I had my thoughts. And they were wrong. They were all wrong. Not a single one of them was right. There may have been one or two that I may have gotten close. But not a single one was correct. Not a single one was right. You know what? Give me a second. I'm going to try something. There we go. Better lighting. Here we go. Sorry about that. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Like I said, you guys are not ready for what is going to happen. I, I can't tell you anymore. The character interactions are amazing. Thanos is amazing. I got out of the movie questioning reality. That's that's what came out of all of this. I came out of the movie like this. Just just like this. Like the way you see me now is how I came out of the movie. Like, I went in expecting it to be... I don't know why what I expected it to be. I expected it to be something. Something. I expected it to be something. I didn't know if it was going to be good. I didn't know if it was going to be great. I didn't know if it was going to be amazing. I didn't know if it was going to be bad. Alright? Because in... February... February... I was having my doubts about this movie because they'd only released the one trailer and I thought they weren't going to release another one because maybe the movie was actually bad. But they released the second one, blew everyone's mind. They released the TV spots, blew everyone's mind. They released the clips, which I didn't actually see. Uh, so I didn't want anything huge spoiled for me. I tried to go in as fresh as possible, but not 100% fresh. Um, is that? Yeah, okay. Um, and I want him pretty, pretty fresh. And you can't, you can't trust anything anyone is saying, alright? If you hear one word of this movie echoed from anyone's mouth, don't, don't listen to them, okay? Because people will try to give you spoilers. I'll have my spoiler review up next week, sometime. Maybe. Or try to get a free day someday. <sighs> um. Yeah, like I said, the character interactions are amazing. The comedy is on point. The drama is on point. If there's anything you're not ready for, it's the ending. I'm just telling you now. Even going into the movie, I thought. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought. About the ending. And I was wrong. That's all I'm going to say. I thought the ending. Was going to be this. And it was this. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. I am not doing any spoilers. I'm not doing anything. Of the sort. Excuse me. Sorry. Popcorn. Um, the visual effects were stunning. The music was amazing. The acting was amazing. It was clear. It was crisp. There was nothing wrong with this movie. Um, there were a couple things that were in this movie that I was a little disappointed with. Um, yeah, there were a couple things in this movie that I was disappointed with. 
there were a couple things that I expected and happened for the good. And there are a few things that I expected that happened that I was disappointed with. You know, stuff that I thought was going to happen and I was pleased when it happened or didn't happen. And some stuff that I predicted that I was disappointed with if it happened or didn't happen. You know, uh, for those of you who don't know, there was one after credit scene. It's at the very end of the credits. It's it's pretty good, pretty awesome. Um, I heard the movie was like eight minutes. It's not eight minutes. It's like the regular after credit scene, like two minutes, maybe maybe a minute and a half. Not very long. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to give this movie a 9.8 out of 10. The only reason I'm not giving it a full 10 out of 10 is because there were some things I was disappointed with. Um, it's not a perfect movie, but I believe, I think it's the best Marvel movie so far, by far, alright? If you think Black Panther was good, this is way better. This is way way better than you've ever imagined. It's like oh, give me a sec. I can't I can't process it. I can't process anything. It's been a rough day for my mind and this didn't help me much. Uh it's it's a long movie. It's about two hours, but it doesn't feel like two hours. Like, like at the end, like at the ending, when I had my thoughts, I went out of the movie, and I was like, wow, that wasn't very long, was it? And I got into the car, and the movie started at about seven. Got in the car, it was like ten o'clock. I'm like, whoa, like that's a long movie. Like it started a little bit after seven, but, you know, when I got in the car, it was ten o'clock. It's like, wow, that's... Crazy, like it, it doesn't feel its length. Like, go go to the bathroom before, have a good meal before. Um, don't eat junk at the movie because I have a headache now. I don't feel great now. Uh, yeah, empty everything out before the movie. Your stomach, your bladder, whatever. Your mind. And just enjoy this thing. Beautifully play paced. I was never bored. I was always on the, my, the edge of my seat. You know, people were plotting. People were going like, oh, like what? There's a scene at the beginning that's just, it caught me completely off guard. Like I knew it was going to happen. But the way it happened completely caught me off guard. It's crazy. Like, I'm just telling you. Thanos... And the children of Thanos, I believe they're called, are not playing around. I'm telling you that now. They are not playing around. There is something. There's something that the Russo brothers did that is just perfect about this movie. They have such a good way of keeping the characters the characters. And it was it was so good too. It was amazing. I can't I don't know what else to say. I really don't know what else to say. Um Yeah. That's it. Watch out for the ending. So I give it a nine point eight out of 10. A couple things I was disappointed with. Yeah. Don't trust Marvel anymore. Don't trust their trailers. Don't. <laughs> La that's the last thing we say. Don't trust trailers. Alright? Don't trust trailers. Don't trust anything they say about the movie. Go in. Watch it till the very end. Now we have to wait. For a full year to see the next movie. 
and it sucks. Okay, bye.